Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai or Chakwadash, which Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Chakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, this is just another example of why the two-thirds must be destroyed. All right, you know, you saw that video clip of, you know, this Jake basically saying that, you know, his girl was cheating on him, right, with this particular guy. And he said that he's also cheating on her with the same particular guy. All right. And, you know, whether this be, you know, true or not, and I'll say this, there isn't a, a situation in this world, you know, out there that is happening like this, okay? But like I said, whether this be true or not, because, you know, there's a lot of uh, people out there that, you know, get on social media and make particular videos for clout, you know, to get views, likes, followers, all right? But point being, even if this guy's doing it for that, that's still a wicked vibration to push out there, and it's not even funny, okay? It's not even funny. But point being, though, is this is why the majority of our people, and when I say our people, I'm talking about the Israelites, all right, which consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And, I'll, and I'll, I will also say this. We have some of our people who look like the other nations. They may look like a so-called white person, Arab, Chinese, Okay, you know, um, you know, one of the uh, Pacific Islanders, they may look uh, like them. And the reason why is because our people, in particular our men, have mixed and mingled with the heathen women. All right. And now our uh, seed line, you know, some of our people, they look like the heathens because of that. Okay. But po point being, though, is, you know. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites, you keep pushing this wicked vibration. You keep doing wicked acts. And that's why the majority of you are going to get killed. Now, let's get this scripture here. This is a Jeremiah 4 and 22, and it reads here, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, meaning extremely stupid. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You see, our people, they're wise to do evil. They're extremely foolish. All right. You know, our people think that doing wicked acts is going to get them ahead in life. You know, which I'll say this in this world, this present evil world, as the scripture uh, says. It, it does allow them to get further to a degree. All right. To a degree. But see, the heavenly father, he always judges he always, you know, you know, um, executes righteous judgment, okay? Eventually, people like this get punished. Let's just say that situation is true, right? You know what that guy posted. Look, his woman, she's going to get um, judged for commit uh, committing adultery. You know, she, she might get a, a, a STD, all right? Because she's dealing with a, a, a down low dude. That's not even, you know, really her man. No, she, 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 she may get, you know, the Lord may have a, you know, somebody, you know, kill her. All right. She may get into a terrible accident where she can barely walk and move. See, the Lord can do all sorts of evil judgments. All right. And for that, and, you know, and for that, you know, guy, the Lord can kill him, you know, quickly for, you know, uh, committing, you know, uh, mo activities. All right. You know, living the alphabet lifestyle. If you you know, if you catch my drift, if you know what I'm saying, okay. You know, because these are evils. These 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 are um. Uh, um. You know, people like that. They're 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 committing you know sins. All right. You see, and the wages of sin is death. That's your reward. If you're gonna commit sin, you're gonna. You know, be uh, uh, destroyed for the, you know, these things. Okay? Like I said, this is why the majority of our people are going to die because of these acts. 
All right. Let's get this. This is um. Let's get Second Ezra, the uh, fifteenth chapter. We'll start here. Main point is in um, five and six. But the uh, we'll we'll start at the top here. This is Second Ezra, fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And that's what we do as prophets. You know, we you know tell our people what's to come. You know, we tell them about the evils that are fast approaching. Famines, warfare, death, destruction, diseases, so on and so forth. You know, we we, we push that because that's what's in the scriptures. And then we tell our people what? Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, that's what Yahweh Shai, you know, told the people. And that's what we tell the people as well. All right. And it says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Meaning the prophecies, the things that are written in the Bible, they are faithful and true. They will come to pass. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, meaning the unbelief of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. So us that are in this truth, we don't have to you know, worry about what these people think of us, what they want to do to us, all right, etc. Don't worry about it. Hey, just... Hey, do what you're supposed to do. Do what the Lord commanded you to do, which is the what? Preach this word. Okay? Tell them to repent. Teach them what's right, what's wrong. And that's it. And keep it moving. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. See? And those that don't believe our report, you know, this message, they're going to die for not believing. The Lord is going to punish them. And rightfully so. Because look at their actions. Look at their deeds. Look at what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. All, all our people do is, you know, murder one another. Sell or do drugs. Commit adultery left and right. They're, they're into, you know, the, the alphabet community. Alright? That rainbow lifestyle. Okay? And there's much more. You know, they steal, etc. There's a lot that they do uh, 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 wrong. And, you know, hey, we I'll say this. We were all doing, you know, evil deeds. You know, at one point we were all, you know, in a wicked mindset. But see, when we heard this word, the followers and believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, hey, we were, were sorrowful, we repented, and right now, we're trying to get right. We're, we're trying to follow the Lord to the best of our ability. Now, do we stumble and fall? Of course. Of course we stumble and fall. But when we do stumble and fall, hey, we ask the Lord for strength, and we get back up, and we keep fighting. We keep trying. You see? Let's keep uh, reading. Verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And this is why the Lord is going to bring these to the earth. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Like I said, th th this guy is talking about how his woman's committing adultery, right, with a you know, particular guy. And this guy, he's laughing about it because he's so-called cheating on her with the same with the same guy that she's you know uh, uh, cheating on him with. This 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 is what's going on in this world. It's a lot of vile things, a lot of vile acts happening, right? Uh, you know, right before our, our, our eyes, man. You know, this is why the Lord's got to, you know, hit that reset button because this stuff is getting out of control. It's out of control, man. And like I said, even if this is a, a you know, a satire thing, a joke, the, 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 you know, this is what you have to, to do to get views, likes, comments, followers. You're basically selling out. Just so you you can what? You get, you know, a notoriety, popularity, maybe get that contract, maybe get that money. You know? That's sad. That's a sad thing, you know, that our people have to do these, you know, particular things and push these vibrations, uh, you know, out there in order to, to, to so-called, quote-unquote, make it in this world. It's terrible. It's terrible.
All right. Now let's get one last scripture. And we'll end off this lesson. This is uh, Zechariah. Let's get 13, uh, 8 and 9. This is uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, and that land is specifically talking about here in America. Okay? Saith the Lord, Yahweh. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed when Judgment Day comes. And I'll say this, a side note. And for those uh, uh, rebels that are, you know, throughout the you know world, they're going to get judged too. Okay? They're going to get judged too. You know, that's where that scripture... Um, that's where, the, I think it's in the book of Luke, that scripture will come into place. Where it talks about uh, um, how Shai said, you know, those that, uh, uh, that that won't allow me to reign over them, bring them hither and, hither and slay them before me. That, 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 that's, that That's what's going to come into place, okay? All right? You know, um, a after this great destruction, you know, uh, uh, the, the elect of the nation of Israel... Hey, we're we're going to gather up uh, the heathens, all right, put them in slavery, and then they, they if there's still wicked Israelites out there, they're going to get put to death, man. That's because they didn't want to get right. They didn't want to repent. And we got a lot of uh, uh, wicked Israelites all over, okay, all over the world. South America, Africa, Asia, the Middle East, Europe. Our people are all, all, all over, you know. And a lot of them are, aren't going to be down with the program. Even after this great destruction, they're still going to be hardheads. They're still going to want to fight, you know, the Lord's will. All right. But let's keep reading. It says here, <clears throat> it says, but the third part shall be left therein, meaning the elect. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Okay. The first fire is talking about that spiritual fire. Us getting, you know, purified. With afflictions, trials, tribulations, hardships, basically. Okay? And then eventually, we're physically going to get out of this place. Okay? We're physically going to uh, be uh, saved from that fire. You know? That nuclear destruction that's coming. You know, the Lord, he, He's going to save his, his his special people. All right? That, that, that remnant. All right? As the scriptures talk about. And we'll refine them as silver is tried and we'll... Salaki, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. Because what, what does the scripture say in the book of uh, Sirach? The elect shall praise the Lord's holy name. All right? You see? And the Lord's going to hear hear them. That's because they, they've been, you know, first and foremost repenting, and they've been trying to get right. And I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord Yahweh is my power. So right now, even amongst the uh, Israel, which that's the Lord's chosen people, the only ones as of now uh, that the Lord considers, you know, truly his people is the elect. That's it. Two thirds, they're just seen as heathens. Okay. That need to be disposed of. And we can see why. Okay. And uh, I'm going to play this lesson or, or um, that video one more time. And, um, you know, for you all to see it, but I'm going to close out and then, you know, I'm going to play at the end of this video, you know, and, uh, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor and glory to you. How about Shemal Shai? Also double honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and salutations to all you brothers. I'm going to play that video one more time. <laughs> 